Happy Easter, everybody. Welcome back to another video. We're going to be taking a look at a really good clip. Now, it, it is dated. This just did not happen yesterday or last week. It's from a little bit while ago, but it's very good. The House Speaker tries to silence Pierre Poilievre, the leader of the opposition, and he claps back, man. Instant regret. Pierre is a by-the-book guy. He knows his stuff. He doesn't just put Justin Trudeau and the House Speaker in his place, but he puts everybody in their place. So I hope you enjoy this clip as much as I do. And before we get into it, I really want to encourage everyone to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet already. We have passed 100,000 subscribers, thanks to you guys, the viewers. And I did, I, I'm gonna put my money where the, or I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. I'm gonna put my mouth where my, no. Whatever the hell the saying is, I'm a little confused right now. I keep talking in circles. I'm going to Ottawa, is what I'm trying to say. I did a bit of a challenge when we hit maybe 93 or 94,000 subscribers. I said, once we hit 100, I'll go to Ottawa and I'll watch the next live question period. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is something that I am scheduled to do. I will be going to Ottawa once the QP resumes in the house. You're going to want to stay tuned. You're going to want to be subscribed. You're going to want to turn post notifications on because you're not going to want to miss that. And without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy this clip. I hope you i hope you enjoy it as much as i do here we go i like the way they clap the though it's the got a very feminine the charm million dollar arrive scam is just the tip of the iceberg we now learn that there are five million dollars in additional fraud that has been identified by the department of public procurement and this is out of the 21 billion dollars the Prime Minister is now spending on outside consultants, a 100% increase and fully with the support of the NDP. Can the Prime Minister tell us how much of this 21 billion dollars is fraud? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. The situation is obviously unacceptable, which is why authorities are looking into this procurement process. Anyone who took advantage of our COVID response to save Canadian lives should face consequence. All federal contracts with these companies have been suspended as the investigation continues. But let everyone in this House notice how quickly he pivoted from a question on Ukraine. The reality is, Mr. Speaker, his members are ashamed of him for forcing him to vote against Ukrainian feels very strongly about Ukraine. Maybe he should move there. I wonder if he feels the same about Israel. Order. 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 And I ask all members to please... Order. I'd like to remind... Uh, the Prime Minister, please, to make sure that questions and comments are directed through the Chair. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Pr Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister demonstrates once again he is a fake and he is a phony. Because he has... Wow. A fake and a... Uh oh he's in trouble for that one. Never mind. The Honourable, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition is a very experienced member of Parliament, and I know that he would uh, understand that that kind of a statement that directed to an individual would not be considered parliamentary. So I'll ask the uh, honourable member to... Do it again and get kicked out, Pierre. Do it. Do it for the people. The, the, the Prime Minister is a fake and a phony on this issue, just like on everything else. He sends... He's going to get himself kicked out. Absolutely insane. Folks, drop some W's in the chat for Pierre. This is monumental. He is doubling down, calling him a fake and a phony. That breaches parliamentary privilege. You're not allowed to do that. They're consulting. He's going to do it again, or he's got a trick up his sleeve. This is awesome. Totally awesome. I know it's like super nerdy. It's like, ah, oh, say fake and phony again. But no, if he gets kicked out, incredible. He's making him sit down. It's just going to add more fuel to the fire of how corrupt this shit is. The Honourable Member, again, is a very experienced member, and he knows that when the Speaker asks him to, to 
chastises a little bit for the use of language which is not considered parliamentary, I'd ask him please to rephrase, uh, to withdraw those comments, rephrase the question without using those words. Speaker, this is a Prime Minister who authorized the export of gas turbines to pump gas from Putin's economy into Europe to fund the war. He's someone who signed on to allow Russian detonators to blow up Ukrainians on the battlefield, and he's a pro-energy, poli a pro-Russia energy policy to fund the Russian economy. We'll take no less. I thought maybe he had another WTF moment up his sleeve. Still a W. Still a W for Pierre in the chat, folks. The right honorable Let's see if we can get a W train going. That is pretty weak sauce from the leader of the opposition. The reality is, <laughs> Prime so President Zelensky. Flashback to 2005. I see that the... Uh... <laughs> I see that the op the opposition uh, House Leader is asking members uh, to be Did he calm really and just say weak sauce? House Leaders to please ask all of your members from all sides to be calm. So, uh, and I'll ask in particular the member from, uh, from Dufferin Caledon please to uh, hold on until he has the time to speak. So, the Honourable Prime Minister, please. Mr. Speaker, the leader of the opposition is flailing in every way he can to try and divert the attention from the fact that his members voted against a request by President Zelensky himself to support a Canada-Ukraine free trade deal. The reality is his uh, constituents across the country feel betrayed by the Conservative Party voting against Ukraine. How do you feel about Israel or, I don't know, Canada, Trudeau? Seems like you're more passionate about Ukraine than you are Canada. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The, the Ukrainians asked for us to give missiles that conserve support to Ukraine, not to give turbines and detonators to Russia, which is what he has done. He has failed Ukrainians abroad and he's failed Canadians at home. Canadians are good and decent people. They don't have to live this way. They do not have to give up the things they used to take for granted, like affordable food and homes all for the incompetence and ego of one man. He is not worth the cost or the corruption. Will he call a carbon tax election so Canadians can decide? Oh, my God. Folks, drop some W's! Pierre is cooking today. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, notice how desperate he is to try and find any excuse he can to justify their voting against Ukraine. And suddenly, he's not talking about the price on pollution that Ukraine put in itself years ago. He's not using that as an excuse, even though that was all we heard as the justification for why they voted against Ukraine, voted against Ukrainian Canadians, voted against the reconstruction of Ukraine that we are committed to through a free trade agreement. He stood in this house and voted against Ukraine and is now trying to do anything he can to hide from it. He let down Ukraine and that showed who he is. Wow. He almost fell. That is the end of the video, folks. Love to know what you guys say down below in the comments. Do you think Pierre is a great debater? Some could argue a master debater. Or do you think maybe the liberals in the House Speaker put him in place? Let me know down below. I really want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for liking the video if you've done that and subscribing if you've done that. And once again, I want to encourage you to smash the bell notification, which allows post notifications to be sent out. YouTube does like the tends to like to do these tricky little things and not send out the right amount of notifications uh, and manually unsubscribe people. So let's just get rid of all that and do our due diligence and actually subscribe with notifications to the channels that we want to see their content. I will see you all in the next one. Hope everyone is having a great long weekend. Bye for now.